I asked myself a question. Is embracing change always something that we should do? Now, I gotta tell you, I've been known to talk a lot. Uh, I suspect that's why they put me on at the end of the show here. Might have something to do with the subjects I teach. I can be long-winded at times, so I'll try to stick within parameters, try, and hopefully you will not end up like the photo or feel like you're like that photo at the end of all this. Um, like Mr. Ogendo, I wanted also to reference the serenity prayer in my talk. Um, this is significant to me because my granny had this embroidered uh, in the house that I used to visit my grandparents at when I was younger. I always used to stop by it and look at it um, when I was visiting them. And I've thought about it quite a lot as I've gotten older. I think all of us who get older find that we often think we need an awful lot of serenity to deal with the changes that seem to happen very quickly, uh, both to ourselves and in our lives. Um, and that really you do have to pick your battles. I think that if you don't try to change uh, anything, then you'll end up pretty apathetic. Um, but also I think that if you try to change everything, uh, you're going to end up very frustrated because there's a lot that you can't change. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Um, I had a lesson in serenity um, fairly early on as a young man. Uh, I was married to my first wife for only about a year, even though we had been together on and off for about seven. Now, right away, uh, that should have been a warning sign for me. I don't want to make a generalization, but I think that on and off relationships often are that way because it's a signal that something is wrong. Um, I tried to make it work. Uh, I think I had the courage to try and, and change things for the better. Uh, I wanted it to work at that time. Now in my second marriage, I'm very glad it didn't. Um, but in the end, this was one of the things that I had to have serenity in dealing with. I needed to be serene and accept that despite all of my efforts, uh, I and my first wife approached life and each other very differently in ways that I don't think we could have, well, in the end we couldn't reconcile, and that I needed the serenity to let, to let that go. But also in my young life, I think I had the courage to change something that I did not want to serenely accept. Uh, I had always been chubby as a kid uh, into my teenage years. Um, Four years of university and university food made that even worse. Um, but through diet, uh, through exercise, uh, it took about five years to do, if not longer. But I did make this change. Um, the black and white photo you see of me was my maximum weight in about 1999 of 110 kilos or more. And I can tell you that you probably know muscle weighs more than fat. I did not have very much muscle. Um, and in 2014, to my weight, uh, probably my best so far of 73. COVID and post-COVID, I've crept maybe higher than I've wanted to above 75. Um, but I'm still a lot better than I was, and I'm determined not to go back uh, to the way I was before, to my unhealthy ways. But what about a medical diagnosis? Um, is that something that we should serenely accept? We all get older, we experience changes to our bodies. Uh, maybe some of those things are things we just do need to accept as part of growing old. In 2010, I developed a urinary tract problem. At least, that's what this test seemed to tell me. Uh, I was urinating a lot more than really normally I should be, and the worst thing was it was affecting my sleep. I was getting up an awful lot in the middle of the night to go. Um, I was told by a few different doctors, uh, well, probably just a matter of aging may be happening earlier for you than others. Just live with it. Uh, I wasn't ready to. This was not something I was going to serenely accept. Similarly, in 2019, I developed what, uh, for me, has been an even worse problem. Um, some of you might know what tinnitus is, or, or tinnitus, as it's also known, a ringing in one or both ears. 
uh, that is not as a result of external stimuli. This is something that's constant that uh, people with this affliction hear at all times. Once again, various tests. This one showed that there seemed to be something wrong with the pressure in my right ear, which is where the tinnitus was located, although the doctor said it was still within normal parameters. So maybe there was no problem here. Maybe this was something that just happened and I should serenely accept it. Once again, I wasn't ready to. I didn't want to. Millions of people every year are misdiagnosed. I do wonder often how many of them serenely accept a first diagnosis or have the courage to try and keep persevering and find an answer. Uh, in both my cases, I did not accept what I was told couldn't change. Now, thankfully for me, uh, both my cases have pretty positive outcomes. My urinary tract problem turned out to be a cyst parked in between my prostate and my bladder neck. After having it removed and some damage to my bladder neck repaired, I now don't have urinary problems. I just found out this past month that my tinnitus issue is most likely uh, because of a blood vessel problem on the right side of my head that might indeed be able to be corrected and I might find relief for my condition. So why didn't I accept these things? Well, partially it was because the answers I got often weren't convincing, they weren't corroborated. I would seem to go to different doctors that would all tell me completely different things. I think this is a pretty good benchmark of when people should be courageous and when they should be serene. If you're not told the same story, why should you accept it? What these experiences taught me is that these things are worth challenging. It taught me that perhaps, unlike what I thought before, maybe what we need more of is not serenity, but courage. Now, I don't want to minimize those people in the audience who may, be, may have been given a life-altering negative diagnosis that can be devastating. I understand, in many cases, uh, someone can't challenge a disease, condition, or affliction, and they do need the serenity to accept it, hopefully deal with it in the best way that they can. However, what I do think that people need uh, is to understand that there are things, even when they're given a negative diagnosis, that they should hold on to in their own lives. Um, if they can challenge something, I think they should do it. Get that second, third, or fourth opinion. See that specialist who maybe can't tell you a different diagnosis, but might give you less of a devastating picture than just live with it, and instead offer at least some ways for relief. Sometimes this might happen when you yourself make the decision that you don't want to let it affect your life in negative ways. Uh, this picture of me and my wife was actually taken in 2019, really at the height of all of these frustrations, when I was still having my urinary tract problem and after I just uh, developed my problem with tinnitus. Now, my lesson, I think, can be applied in a lot of different ways, um, even to all of you and, and to the world that we live in. Uh, certainly, on the issue of medical science, do I think the medical field has to change with regard to how it investigates and diagnoses conditions? Absolutely. In my opinion, too many specialists operate in silos and don't look at how one system that they may work in is actually affected by another. Specialists, I think, should coordinate with each other and share expertise to better help those of us who need it. But also, thinking on a larger scale, this was a photo I took on vacation, just one that I think represents our glorious planet. Is climate change something that we should serenely accept or perhaps have the courage to challenge it? I think the latter. Uh, thinking about other things in our lives that have manifested, like technology and social media, I think we should be asking broader questions about what we should be accepting and what we should be challenging. While I think smartphones and social media have done some good things, I think it's worth investigating, looking at the potential damage that they've done in the changes that have happened to our lives that maybe we should be challenging. So coming back to the serenity prayer, 
Yes, we sometimes do need serenity to accept things we can't change. But I firmly believe that more often than not, it's courage we need to change things that can be changed, the perseverance to see those things through. Wisdom in telling the difference comes from really knowing that you tried courage first and then accepted only after you'd have exhausted all possibilities. Thank you.